Hey guys, this is Frankie Dajaha. Washer Frankie, and welcome to day six of the Avon calendar. Today I'm going to be playing around with this bracelet kit. Let's dig on inside. Now it comes with two sets of instructions. One is in English, one is in another language. And then there is this cardboard piece where all the other items are taped on. And this is basically your threads, your chains, your beads, all your goodies to make your bracelet or bracelets. And while I'm putting this bracelet together, I'm watching The Artful Dodger. I don't know if y'all have heard of that or whatever, but if you are aware of Oliver Twist, then you would know The Artful Dodger, right? So in this TV series, he it's 15 years after the whole Oliver Twist thing, right? And he is now a surgeon and he's doing like surgeries that like for I guess for his time period is kind of groundbreaking because no one has ever done it or like one person tried it and all this kind of stuff. And we're in a time period where if someone's leg is broken, they literally just amputate it off. Like this is the time period that we're in. Uh, you know, people are unaware of germs, right? So uh, yeah, <laughs> there's not even like anesthetic. Like if someone's having a surgery, they're just going to have to deal with the pain because there is no pain relief. And there's no way to knock the person out. So the person is awake during the whole thing, feels the whole thing, you know. And like the head doctor is like doing surgeries drunk. And people are watching it and nodding. And they're like, oh, it's so terrible because, um, I mean, I don't want to give spoilers. But somebody gets injured and they're like, they go to the Dodger and was like, please do the surgery. Like, do not let him touch me. And this guy, basically this guy asking for the Dodger to do the surgery. They are not friends. Like, I mean, they started off like friends, but at this point they've had some, you know, falling out. And so they're not besties. So the fact that he's asking someone that knows doesn't like him to be like, please do the surgery and not this guy like, I mean, you're, you're basically, you know what, that, that's accolades for his work. The fact that, hey, I don't like you, but I recognize that you're a good doctor and I'd rather you do the surgery than this guy over here that's drunk. <laughs> right, so the Arful Dodger, Jack, goes into like the Navy and that's where he learns all his medical training and skills. And so he has gotten out of his previous life, right? He's no longer the head of, you know, the kids gang thing, right? So he is trying to make a name for himself and then good old Uncle Fagin comes to town and basically starts kind of like turning his life backwards. Like he's trying to get him back into crime. Like you were so good, you know, that's why you're nicknamed you know, the Artful Dodger, because you're so good at what you do, and this isn't your blood. And he's just like, no, surgery is in my blood. I get a thrill out of, you know, helping people. So it's, it's all that type of stuff, but good old Uncle Fagin, you know. I, and, you know, of course, Uncle Fagin's got tricks up, up his sleeve. There's a reason why he's probably trying to get good old Jack, or AKA the Artful Dodger, back into the game. So... I think it's a very interesting TV show. I mean, I, I I've been watching. I'm I've been watching a couple episodes, so I'm in. 